What's going on guys, it's Justice here and welcome to a new video. So, I just thought, what the heck, let's just make a quick video about Old School RuneScape and the things that I've been up to really, really briefly. Uh, this is going to be a really quick video, um, I don't get loads of time to edit videos these days, um, but I thought I would just mash one together uh, and just share with you guys what I've been up to uh, with a showcase of a Bandos kill in the background and a few other things if I, if I clip them in. Uh, but yeah guys, it's been a while since I've actually made an actual video video, like commentated one. Uh, I do really enjoy these days just uploading my highlights or like full uncut versions of things uh, from my live stream of me just essentially playing the game. I think these days I'm definitely more of just a gamer, a player rather than a content creator. Um, and you know, I really do just enjoy, you know, just chilling out, playing some games. Uh, and if anything cool does happen, then I... Then I sometimes upload it um but loads of loads of cool things have been happening recently on old school i've made a lot of progression uh really really enjoying the game i think old school runescape as a whole is in such a nice position um it is truly an incredible game at the moment like it's it's really hard to explain if you don't actually just play it yourself. I think the progressional power curve of the game, uh, how rewarding it is when you go through the different paths of progression, uh, you know, there's an obvious reward at the end of things. And I think that's what really caters for the enjoyment of the game. Uh, and I'm even playing it in fixed screen at the moment a lot of the time, uh, which is just crazy to me because it's kind of crazy how your opinion can change over time. Uh, when, when Old School first came out, I was like, how are people playing this in fixed screen? This is terrible. Like, what is going on when I was playing like full screen RS3? And it's kind of crazy how your mindset just totally switches. And it's really nice playing a retro game again, really. Um, so I'm getting really into it. Uh, without like babbling on too much, um, I've completed loads of things uh, on the game. Uh, you'll see like in terms of my progression with Bandos as well compared to the clips that I uploaded on YouTube uh, in the background is just an absolute pog solo Bandos kill combat 106 uh, very very RNG dependent but that's kind, kind of adds to the fun of it in, in some ways uh, but with my stats it's, it's definitely very heavily RNG dependent and luckily I just got through a really nice clean and smooth kill so yeah learning as I'm going um, trying to improve all the different tactics trying to learn the tactics but I'm only tapping into PVM every so often because most of the early to mid game is literally progressing your account doing lots of skilling pumping in the hours there and, and power leveling through and um, so i've completed loads of stuff recently um just a few I, oh, I guess one of the biggest achievements yet is barrows gloves uh, that was a fantastic thing to that was a fantastic item to get hold of um you know it was best in slot for a long time. There's new items that came out now, but for the large part, especially at the current stage of the game that I'm at, they are best in slot uh, for me, and they doubled the amount of stats that the combat bracelet was given to me. So a massive upgrade and and a really cool adventure going going through that and doing all the skill wrecks and doing all of the questing. I just absolutely blasted out quests. I did about 20 quest points like daily for about three days in a row. It was mental, uh, and I had so much fun with it actually. And I was just listening to a guy called Slayer Music One, which I'll leave a link down in below because he has saved my life when it comes to questing in, in old school runescape he actually makes it enjoyable uh, because the way he goes through his guides for questing they're completely uncut you can follow it real time and he explains the core concepts of the chat dialogues that you're going through so just the context behind things so you don't have to read through all the chat dialogues he will literally say we're going to go to this guy now because of this and it just adds to the story so you can kind of get a concept of what the lore is for that quest as well whilst you're doing this guide i think it's brilliant and i will leave that in the description description below so yeah um what what do i need to say well barrels gloves were unlocked um i've been going for base 70 stats that's essentially been my main ultimate goal at the moment is to get base 70 stats on f f uh, select skills which are the requirements for the song of the elves quest because yes guys prift and as elf city is coming out onto old school runescape late july and with that there's going to be a new solo pvm or pve type content called the gauntlet which is almost sounds like a spin-off from dungeoneering and hopefully it's going to be even better than that but we will see uh, it's going to have an end boss and it's going to be randomly generated as well similar to how dungeoneering was um, and the rewards are going to be new crystal armor shards that you can make the full crystal armor out of and uh, by wearing this new crystal armor it's going to increase the power of your crystal bow to make it i think second best in slot in the game behind the twisted bow all right, I'm back. So I really love the crystal bow. Um, you know, the fact that it's, uh, it doesn't require ammo and just the effect, the animation effect. And I've always disliked how Jax had this such really cool weapon and it just 
it became inferior so quickly to even just a rune crossbow and the right bolts. Like, that just didn't make sense to me. And you had to go through these quest requirements for it, roving elves and everything. And it was such a cool quest line and the whole, like, reward for it being the crystal shield or the bow. And I'm so happy that they're actually going to be making this more worthwhile now as an item to use. So it, that's exciting stuff. So yeah, been going for the base 70 stats pretty much there. Um, I've got 70 construction, did 70 farming, which I'm continuing with. I'm recycling all my GP that I make because I have zero GP now. Um, so I'm recycling all the GP that I make back into farming and into my combat skills for chinning, for ranged and bursting for magic. Got 70 uh, herbalore, smithing, wood cutting. Um, so all I need now, oh, and herbalore, all I need now is hunter, agility and mining, and then I'm good to go. So I'm ready for that quest uh, coming out in late July and it's going to be really fun to be able to play current content when your account is still kind of mid-game. So it's going to be nice being able to play that current content. I think it's definitely going to be a lot more difficult because they've already said you, uh, it's going to be based on your stats on the quantity of resources that you're going to be able to obtain during Gauntlet. So the higher your stats, the quicker and easier it's going to be. So I think it will be really tough being at the minimum stat line uh, benchmark, but we'll see how it goes. So yeah, we've completed all sorts. We've completed uh, you know, our range levels to be able to use the blowpipe. We've done desert treasure. Uh, we've done loads of stuff to increase our gear setups, got, such as going for the salve amulet, um, enchanted and imbued you know, for against haunted creatures. We've gone for full void. We've got piety. Uh, we've done all the fairy tale quests. And obviously the biggest one, again, like I say, is we've done recipe for disaster. So moving towards now, my next goals are to keep going for those base 70s, keep training up my combat. I'm going to be going for 69 slayer, be able to do monkey madness 2. That'll therefore unlock better chinning methods and bursting methods for more xp per hour and overall just have to keep having fun on the game every so often i'll tap in and just do a random pvm activity right now i'm thinking of farming zora for that consistent gp in order to recycle back into farming on my combat stats um, and yeah, just another thing I'll add is just I've had fun on this game. Really, truly great fun. And uh, going for 77 prayer, probably one of the, the most fun things I've done in this game was going for 77 prayer in the wilderness where I was streaming it. Had a few guys who decided to come along. One guy came along with a dragon spear out of nowhere. Next minute, we developed this army of spear boys and we were just completely spearing everybody that even remotely came close to me in the uh, altar and i was there with my dds it was just ridiculous at, at one point i tellied in there was a pk there i literally legged it and said spear boys assemble and these guys just legged it past the other way ran past me and then went and completely stunned this guy out and um, so it was fantastic fun and uh, just all that sort of stuff is happening uh, whilst I'm playing the game and just chilling out with friends. So, um, yeah, having a blast and uh, we'll see how it goes. WoW Classic's coming out late August. Lots of things are happening in terms of the classic era at the moment. And I'm just enjoying it. So uh, all the best, guys. Thank you very much just for listening to this video. I'll end it there and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like if you didn't dislike it. Uh, just so I can know and get that feedback. Other than that, good luck with anything that you're doing, guys, in the gaming industry, you know, environment, work, life, whatever. All the best, and yeah, feel free to check me out over on Twitch. And what I strongly do recommend is I will give a shout out to my Discord channel. I'll leave the link in the description below. I'm extremely active on there, so I don't get a chance to upload videos on Twitch, but I'm all about the community, you know, just chatting in the Discord channel, debating about random things, just memes, anything. Uh, just yeah complete random debates and roasting so if you do want to check that out feel free to join the discord channel below and um, strongly recommend it very very active and i like talking with loads of different people about updates and anything that's happening in the gaming industry so thanks very much and i'll see you around good luck icy going for that 99 room crafting cape dude come on man Oosh! let's see if i can make it spear boys assemble spear boys assemble we have one. I'm luring him. I'm debating him. I'm debating him. I've got one coming, boys. Assemble. <laughs> Let's do this. We got this.